Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again and we're on a 16 streak and this time we randomised as a character that could be a little tricky. It's our first character that's got a bit of iffiness to it or it could be great, we've got to see. But we randomised Eden, uh, which means all sorts of shenanigans. Uh, we got really good health so we're actually fine. Unfortunately our items are pretty stinky. Uh, I do like starting off with 5 bombs but Pokeball is just kind of meh. Um, so that, that's not great. It's not ideal. But it's also not absolutely awful. I'm going to capture him because I think he'll... I think these ball guys will uh, will be created as friendlies, not enemies, I'm hoping. Otherwise, this guy's kind of going to be awful for us, but we'll see. We'll see, but yeah. It, the Pokeball thing, it's not great. But Mr. Boom with five bombs is pretty nice. And our stats aren't terrible. They're not great either. But they aren't terrible. Uh, I don't particularly like this room, to be honest. This room's a bit of a... Horrible one, so I'm going to do that just to absolutely nuke all of those flies in one go. That's a bad hit right there. Um, I'm not used to these guys' shot speed right now, unfortunately. But we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, that was a really weird lag spike there. But we're good, we're good. But yeah, just a bomb being able to take out all of those in one hit. Because they do like, is it 185 damage a Mr. Mega Bomb does? I think a bomb normally does 100 and they do 185. If we can get that trinket that doubles all bomb damage... We are absolutely laughing. That would be amazing. Well, let's see what we end up getting from our item room first. Um, we get impact wax. Uh, extra damage while holding the fire button. Short range tears are also shot from his side. Um, oh, that's actually not too bad. We'll take that. I was considering using this, but I don't think it would sort of value as much to um, to have double Mr. Mega. I don't even know if that would work. But yeah, having these is pretty good because we get this, like, sticky creep that does damage and stuff. Oh, God. Uh, Fiendfolio is having errors already. I mean, there's a lot of these guys going about. Oh, God. Okay, so that guy is charmed, but um, he's on fire. So I don't know how long he'll live for. But we'll, we'll see. Maybe he'll do a good job. You never know. It's these little, these little miscreants that is the real problem. Ah, oh, but yes. It is another fine day. Hey, he's still alive. Good, good. It is, a, and, and they are charmed. Awesome. It's another fine day um, in the Isaac Sphere. Uh, we got a good old Junkin run uploaded last, and people seem to love that video. I really like, it's, it's always really nice when I upload a, um, a random just episode that I, I'm like, oh, that was a decent episode, and then people just love it. It's always, like, super nice to wake up and see that. Um, and yeah, that happened with a Junkin episode. I mean, Junkin's just like a classic on my channel. I mean, I don't actually know. This is a, this is another sort of good question of the day sort of thing. Um, for one, what's some other content creators you watch that play at Isaac or Rogue like? That'd be interesting to know. But also, um, what's uh, what's the first video of mine that you remember watching? I think I did ask that before, but I can't remember what your guys' answers were, so I'll ask again. Um, yeah, what's one of the first videos you guys remember watching from me? This um this version of of Steven is is a little he 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 melts my brain a little bit. Yeah, that that little jumpy attack he does. I mean, little Steven here's not bad. Melts my brain a little bit. We're we're good to go. Um yeah, cuz like I know there's still some people here from when I was on like 2 or 300 subs from back in the day when I was doing daily Gungeon uploads cuz I I I've never actually my my channel didn't start as Isaac it started as Gungeon. Ooh, that was a really bad hit there. I didn't expect him to fire like that. Really bad hit. Um bloody dust taking damage increases your range uh, for the for the uh, floor taking damage increases shot speed for the floor. Well, that's not too bad. We got one of those already. Okay, let's try and not get hit too much more because our health isn't particularly good right now. Oh, that was a really, really bad... I, I wanted to throw it at that, um, that champion there, but I kind of missed. I wish this creep lasted a little longer. It might, it might be good to see if we can find the Lost Cork um, trinket. Obviously, we can't guarantee it's going to happen. Hey, a half soul heart from that champion is very, very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Um... Yeah, the Lost Cork would be pretty fun. Is it called Lost Cork? Something like that. The one that makes our creep larger. I think that could be pretty good. Because we're actually spreading out quite a lot of creep right now. I don't really know why I captured that guy, to be honest. That's not really an enemy I care for. Because I'm pretty sure the Troll Bombs will still be able to hurt us. Even after the fact that he dies. So, regardless of whether he's our teammate or not. But yeah, these, these Cypress tiers actually do fire quite a lot. 
I'm not liking this situation we've got ourselves into here. But honestly, again, the creep is doing a mighty fine job. I do not mind it. I do not mind it. Last enemy? What the hell? Did I skip past one over here? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. Good stuff. We'll throw you out. Have you on board. Charm Tears is honestly not that great. Do we reckon I just bomb this? Okay, let's play out the floor first and see if we can get some money. To do some re-rolling with the money, obviously. Not a particularly big fan of this situation. Spider, if you could take out that guy for me, that is fantastic. Beautiful stuff, because that was about to get a bit ugly there. Right, let little Steven do his business. Try and take out this guy without losing my half soul heart. An extra bomb there is very nice. But yeah, I think I might just bomb my donation, uh, my reroll machine and see what we get. Uh, that could obviously end up with a worse item, but it's not super likely. And honestly, charm tiers just aren't going to make that much of an impact over the course of the run. If you have the option to reroll them, I feel like it's better to reroll them. Ooh, hello. Don't know if there's any way we can get over to that. There might be some sort of puzzle there, but I'm not sure. Okay, nice. Was able to capture him. It's kind of funny that I captured him and it doesn't capture the fly orbiting around him. That just gets separated. Yeah, I'll quickly do the boss now. I'm not going to use a bomb here, because I think with our creep and stuff, we might be able to set this guy out pretty quickly. Again, a little annoyed about that. I mean, the spectral shots are just kind of throwing me off. I like to get him into second phase, so he stops doing that. Because <laughs> in phase one, he can be a little bit of a tricky bastard. Dude, there's a long-ass yeet of a shot there. Got to be careful if he does the triple spectral shot, which he can do in this phase. I think we got him. Yeah, we did. Nice. And we got HP up, which I'm pretty happy with. Nice. I'm not going to go devil deal this time around. Right, yeah, I think we just I think we just nuke our uh, reroll machine and hope for the best. See what we end up getting. Hope it's something a little better. Nod leaf. It's not realistically better, but... It does give us a way out in certain situations if we get the right items. Um, it's it's one of those items that it's like it's kind of like a guaranteed win. Also, secret room we should probably check for. It's kind of like a guaranteed win if you're like willing to to put up with this bullshit. Um, hmm. I'm fairly certain I know where secret room is, but I'm just gonna do a quick check. Okay, yeah, I'm almost certain I know where it is now. I'm pretty sure it's uh, where the where the uh, crawl space room is. Go grab that. Oh, we can also throw this guy out as well. There you go. Oh, I'm so, so glad I came in here. That is an insane, insane HP there for us for the next floor. Hopefully protect our angel deal. Because we did get a devil deal there despite getting hit, which is rather nice. I wasn't expecting that, but I'm happy to, to see it happen. Uh, ooh, kind of interesting. Don't know how good this guy will be. With him being a champion, I'm hoping pretty good. But I guess we'll just have to see. I'm really liking having little Steven early on, you know. I think little Steven early on is super, super useful. I, there's a lot of familiars, like, that early on are a lot better than they would otherwise seem. But, yeah, this guy's going to be kind of amazing. I don't know what happens if I throw a ball at these guys. I don't think anything useful, really. I'm trying to pick my targets somewhat appropriately. I think Secret Room is here, but we'll find out that guy's another good one so thingy the good thing is as well it's an instant kill like that that's something that's that's I don't, that i don't really think about about the item that's useful oh god all of these get champion status that's with this curse is uh it's pretty rough this this makes me want to use a bomb i wonder if all of them have the chance to drop champion drops though so that could be interesting but this is a little rough at the moment Oh my god. We did get a golden penny there out of one of them, which is kind of bizarre. Oh, damn it. I was really trying my hardest not to lose that heart. Okay, that guy's going to be a pain. Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> the good thing is we, we kind of have unlimited champion drops from these guys. <laughs> In a way. What the hell's going on with this guy? It's this one that's the problem. He keeps reforming. Stop. There you go. Decent golden penny. Lovely. 
Okay, that was a bit wacky. I unfortunately lost my really good heart. Ghost Bombs actually isn't amazing, but it pairs pretty nicely with our, um... With our current big boy bombs. I can't remember if Mr. Mega has any synergy with Ghost Bombs. I think it would, but I don't remember. Oh, God, this is pretty awful. <laughs> This Curse of Conquest is such a good curse in terms of design. It genuinely makes the game harder, but there's rewards involved. And it's interesting that it can make certain enemies champions that can't normally be champions, and certain enemies champions that spawn from other enemies, which isn't normally possible as well. I like that as a sort of addition to it. I'll check in here. I would like to grab Buddy in a box if we can. It's always decent. He's, is he the head-throwing type? No, he's not. You can never tell because this one's got like a slight lean to him now, like with the resprite I've got. Dude, those champions, the purple ones, that have a chance to drop half a soul heart. My god. Whoever made that change, it's a great idea. It doesn't seem super likely, but we're getting really lucky with them right now. Okay. We're doing fine. Just keep it calm. Don't do what I just did there. But we do get our range and shot speed increase for the rest of the floor, which is nice. That guy did also steal quite a lot of money from me there, which I'm not very happy about because I was looking to get Buddy in a box and I was quite close to getting it. But unfortunately, I'm no longer quite so close. Yeah, no bomb for me, thank you. Damn it. It does spawn a big ghost. Ooh, yes, this is good. This is good. My range and shot speed is nice, but these friendly blots block shots and stuff, and it's one to three every room. Didn't appreciate that full heart of damage I just took there. Most certainly did not. Yeah, one to three of them every room is pretty good. We got a lot of little friends around to block shots for us and stuff. I do not mind that at all. But yeah, I'm really, I'm sort of looking for something to pair with Nord Leaf eventually, because that would be quite nice. But yeah, they don't do a hell of a lot of damage. They do, they do do some. But the damage really isn't what we care about too much. We do have this friend now, which is quite nice. We'll hope he doesn't instantly die to this boss. We'll see. Once he does his laser thing... Oh, they, they block him. Nice. Once he does his laser thing, we'll um, put a bomb down. Laser? No. Nah. No lasers as of yet. Wow, he is really not wanting to do the lasers at all, is he? There you go. Oh, wait. Well, I don't know what just happened to him, but I don't need to use a bomb now because he just took a ton of damage. Unfortunately, just some range up here. We lost quite a lot of HP on this floor, which isn't ideal. I'll pop this for fish oil. Um, and I think we'll just get going. Yeah? Are we good to get going? I think so. Uh, we should probably look for secret room, realistically, though. Yeah, we've got a lot of a uh, lot of flies going on now. Secret room seems like it's here. It's not okay. Um, could be here. Hey, oh, lovely! Wow, that is a lot and a lot of extra money. So we can get um, buddy in a box now, which is nice. I will also bomb this guy for a little bit more money. Lovely stuff. Okay, I'm pretty happy. Oh, dude, you know, I didn't even, I didn't even sort of realize the glass D20, you know. I probably would have been, it would have been a good idea to have grabbed that glass D20. Um. Right. Buddy in a box. I think I'm going to sack room, you know. I've got a lot of health about. I've got one, two, three, four. Um. Five players. Yeah, I think I think I've got enough to make this work. Oh, Bloody Penny would have been a good grab there as well. I think this I think this is worth it. I right, one, two, three, four. Can't remember if there's anything in my secret room. Don't think so. Go to the shop first and grab the other one. Mm 
Lovely stuff. Every floral spawn or sacrifice room possible. Spawn two um, health points worth of pickup. Spawn two points worth of red hearts on pickup. I guess I'll grab that for the red hearts then. Yeah, good stuff. Okay. I know this obviously gets rid of our soul heart, but I still think this is potentially worthwhile. We're on five so far, aren't we? So... No, there's five. There's six for the angel teleport. Seven. Unfortunately, got pretty unlucky there. So we'll grab the soul heart and we'll just get out of here. Um, Pretty unlucky there, but it is what it is. Do I want to use my glass D20 on anything? I don't think I've got anything I want to use it on right now, to be honest. But I'll hold on to it, because there could be another room that jumps out at us as pretty useful to use it on. Not bad. Not bad. The sack room wasn't really worthwhile in the end, but we've now got this item that's going to like spawn sack rooms more often. I actually think knowing that, we should grab this instead. Because having more red hearts about means that we can actually play sack rooms a little more often. Um, which I think is going to be obviously quite valuable if we're going to be getting um, sack rooms more often. It seems good. Cool. Right, let's jump down. And yeah, I'll, I'll save my glass D20 for when it potentially is useful. One second. Right, let's keep this party a rolling. So we did get a soul heart after this as well to protect our devil deal on this floor. Angel deal, should I say. Um... Don't know how difficult these guys are going to be. Not too bad, I don't think. I'm liking the fact that we've got this like little familiar tri chain going on. We've got our little buddy behind us. <laughs> okay, that could be uh, that could be pretty good for a potential sack room coming up. Also, I think secret room likely is here. Um, I'm going to bomb now because uh, we get the ghost helping us out. Unfortunately, it was not. But we've got plenty of bombs to work with, so I don't really mind. And the ghost did help us out regardless. Is that some good stuff? Oh, careful of these little dippy boys trying to jump on me. I do not want to deal. There's more of them. Are they, did they die? I think they died. Unfortunately, we've not got any special effects from our buddy in a box uh, character. We don't have any like special tears from him or anything by the looks of it. He just seems to be a regular old fella. We definitely need some tears up or damage up soon. Uh, damage is getting sort of augmented by our buddies, but it's not great right now. Oh, crab. Why you gotta crab me? Why you gotta go and crab me? I see you there. The crabs are a very annoying enemy. Every time. Luckily, they don't have a lot of health. So they're taken care of pretty quickly. Okay, I'm not liking these boys doing doing their thing right now. I'm especially not liking the raindrop fellas. Luckily, these guys seem to not really... I mean, they're blind. So they don't really target me as such, which is pretty good. We'll pop in here. Oh, are you kidding me? That was so bad. I don't know if you saw what happened there, but I got hit by one of the fucking tears right at the end of that room. Dude, this is a very annoying floor right now. Got tons of these raindrop dudes. Tons of these teleporty dudes. It's just like, go away. You know what you're doing. You know you're being bastards. I mean, it's not a great item, but... I wonder if opening all of these reveals something. Or if it's just decoration. It's, it, the room's called Brute Force, so maybe. But plus 10 bombs is... It's not super good, but our bombs are pretty useful right now, so I'll take it. Kind of goes along with uh, with the theme of the run a little bit. Boom, boom. Gotcha. Extra angel chance. Nice. I can't remember with that item how the sack room sort of player works. Ah, oh, I've already captured a guy. I forgot about that. It's one of you. <laughs> it's your brother. Now kill him. Do it. We've got plenty of keys to work with here, so we'll check out the shop. Not what I was expecting, but that's fine. 
This this triple firing guy isn't isn't so good. Yeah, and I said not not a great one to capture to be honest. We kind of want to kill this minion before we kill him, otherwise he'll try and suck up all the gold, all the coinage. Yeah, bunch of extra red hearts about potentially useful, good stuff. If there's a sack room, that is. I don't actually know if there's going to be. Oh, I captured him in the bubble. I don't know how that's going to work when I uh, when I respawn him. I don't think I've ever seen one of those guys charm. So. Oh, wait. Picking up the friendly ball recharges it automatically. I literally never knew that. <laughs> I literally never knew that. Is that a new thing or is that just something that I've been oblivious to this entire time? Yeah, it seems more like something I've been oblivious to this entire time. Damn, game. You're brutal. Stop with that. Head away back. Oh, I don't. I don't actually know why I decided to head my way back. You know, this is this was a terrible decision because now I could lose my angel deal super easily, and that's not ideal. I'm not really liking the the prospects of this room, to be honest. They're a bit icky. Can, can you die, sir? Thank you. Right, we should probably just go and do the boss. Use bombs to our heart's content and hope for the best. So Half soul heart from here, maybe? Ah, bugger. Right. We shall see if this works out, but it might not. It depends on the boss, really. Okay, we got him. Good. There you go. Got our angel deal. Blood clot's rather nice. So that is a damage up. This, this is amazing. Enemies, it instantly kills enemies when damaged to half of their HP. One quarter for bosses. Every, basically, this just sort of doubles our damage in a way. Um, and then obviously, uh, against bosses, it makes it better too. This is very good. It's a very, very good quality four items. I'm very happy to have that. Right about now. We got a water bottle there. Pill just randomly transformed into that. Yeah. So our killing potential is uh, is through the roof now. Very, very nice. Still got to keep looking for a sack room in case one spawned. It's not a guarantee, I don't think, with that item, but it's more likely. So we need to check. Steven room there. There's some money potentially there, but I'm okay. We could, we could, of course, Queen of Hearts and then Glass D20 all of them, but... I'm going to say, I think it's better to save it for the actual sack room, which we have one of here. Unfortunately, not, not a whole lot there. We do have hearts over there as well. So one, two, three, four, five. Sigil of Baphomet, hell yes. Oh, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah, um, six, seven. Unfortunate. Yet again, our sack room betrays us. But yeah, as much as that's good, Sigil of Baphomet is just insanely good. <laughs> Sigil of Baphomet is is very top tier. Um, as a trinket, it's it's one of the best trinkets in the game. Uh, so I think we'll be taking that for the invincibility that we get from it. And we'll be rolling on down. But we did another good thing about that is we did end up getting a soul heart out of that. So it's, all is not lost. We did end up getting a soul heart out of it. And our red health isn't exactly low. And this is what min maxing is all about, man. We gotta we gotta play play the game to the best of our ability and try and gain every possible avenue to success. And so playing the sack room when we when we need to. Makes sense. Even if we don't get the payout, it's still useful to try. But yeah, every enemy having half HP here is, is just good in general, but it's going to be even better with uh, Sigil of Baphomet. Regrowing enemies is always good, but yeah, means that Sigil of Baphomet is going to be proccing even more often. So I can't believe I didn't know that about Friendly Ball, you know. It's good shit. The world, I'm just going to pop for the secret room. And then Degas. We don't have a curse. I'm going to hold off on Degas at the moment. Don't know why I did that. That was stupid. We're invincible the whole goddamn time. We've got big bombs here, so it's worth uh, 
blowing up all of these and seeing if we get a black heart. Unfortunately, we did not. But again, it's all about that min-maxing, baby. Right, come on, my regrowing little fella. My best, my, my bestest little friend. I think I need a red heart to get into this room here, but I'll take a look anyways. I do not need a red heart. Oh, wait, did I just throw that and then waste it? I think I did. Oops. Okay, we got one of the empty hearts here. A lot of extra money, which is rather nice. We got a strength card here, which I'm probably not going to get too much use out of. Don't know how that missed. Oh, wait, that, it didn't miss. Okay, I see. It didn't miss. God damn, it's giving us loads of, like, really good trinkets and stuff at the moment. It's been quite the generous fella. Oh, no. You're going to try hit me, are you? You can't hit me, you fool. I have near permanent invincibility. <laughs> Half a soul heart there as well. Ow, that was a good hit, my guy. Was not expecting that. Oh, this time you hit me, but I was invincible, baby. This is an annoying ass room. <laughs> Stop. Okay. Back we go. We didn't actually need to go through those, but I was looking for like extra HP and stuff. I'm gonna say it was worth it, even though it probably wasn't. We got this boot fella. Who dislikes the boot? Yeah, it's it's nice feeling like we have pretty much double damage here. I like it a lot. Right, let me line up with this door, because I always get these wrong. There you go. Secret room, what do you hold for us? Unfortunately, not a hell of a lot. But a little bit of money, and a little bit of angel chance. Although it's spread between angel and devil at the minute, so not ideal. I think I'm going to leave those. I don't really need to grab those right now. Big chub, not great. It's fine though, it's fine. God damn, my boot boy is, is killing it. So the thing is about uh, this uh, this extra sack room we're gaining, by the way. Do you know what? I actually am going to do this. We've got plenty of bombs. Uh, the thing is about this extra sack room is it's not going to appear on the map because it appears as a regular room. Increase knockback, no thanks. Bunch of extra bombs, lovely. So we have to actually go to these rooms and explore to see if they're sack rooms or not. Death. Uh, I guess I'll use death in one of these rooms here and see if we can get some good burn boys out of it. Sounds more like a porn website though, doesn't it, burn boys? Hey, we did get a burn boy. I'm still going to keep calling him that though. It's not going to stop me. So there's our sack room. We don't really have a great setup for sack room in terms of the HP we have available here. God damn, those water balls are so strong. Just keep appearing. We don't really have a great setup in terms of the amount of HP we have on the floor for those guys. So I'm not super enthused about using the sack room this time around. But if we find all the HP, I could be convinced. I, just, I have a feeling we won't. <laughs> what we need is to get is uh, cat food, which is the uh, boss item that makes it so the bosses always drop more HP. There's another red heart there. We still only got one and a half on the floor in the rooms. Ooh. Golden penny that was a single penny, unfortunately. Happens from time to time. Ah, oh, really? You again? There's no need for you again. There's just no need. Alright, get some blue flies before the boss. And at this point, we've got so many bombs that we might as well use them for the bosses. That was a good hit, sir. That was a good hit. I commend you for, for your efforts. We did unfortunately get Devil Deal this time around, which is not really what I wanted. But I will check it out, because it doesn't harm our Devil Deal chance to go. Hungry Soul is good. I could, I could be tempted to take Hungry Soul. I think I'm just going to abstain and go for Angel Deal again. 
Uh, we'll get on to the next floor and see if we want to use Degar straight away. We got a curse. We don't have a curse, so no Degars yet. I, 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 I very, very, very rarely actually uh, utilize Degars for um, for this curse cleansing purposes. Normally I just take the soul heart and leave. But this time I'm changing my mind just because we're min maxing. Like, why not? Oh, let's see. I think I already had an enemy in there. I did. Oh, hello. I will indeed bomb that. Is that not- is there still an enemy left in here, apparently? There is. Which one? Oh, really? A little dippy dip? You don't mean anything to anyone. That would be a bit harsh, but they go- ooh! We captured all these hungry souls, I doubt that's actually great for us. Uh, extra keys. We're doing really well on all of our consumables right now, so it's not entirely necessary, but, but thank you regardless. I'm liking the fact that we've got enough bombs to actually be able to utilize them for our bosses effectively. It's always rather nice. Ooh. Unfortunately, we have to, we'd have to take a hit for that. Um, that's a bit unfortunate. Not much we can do to grab that. Psycho bombs, we're really not getting great items from our item rooms right now. Our item rooms have all been kind of stinky. Luckily, that angel deal has carried us forward. I think without that, we'd be in a rough spot. Oh, I forgot you had spectral, you bastards. Back we go. Every room has these little eyes in it now. <laughs> Every room with pits, at least. Yeah, bomb bag. It is nice to have more bombs, but we, we already have quite a lot, so it's not like I need them. Oh, it actually spawns a bunch of them. Kind of nice to grab this guy that I didn't realize it would be, but seems to be useful right now. Where art thou? Oh, wait. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We can get into our boss trap room. I didn't realize. We ought to be doing that whenever we can. It's not great, but it's, it's it's extra HP. We've got a big ghost to help us out. Okay, Degas now just because we lost our um, we lost our soul heart. This this boss is actually a like a really annoying boss. He spawns a lot of extra shit. Luckily, we got him pretty quickly. Let's go do our boss now before we lose this other half soul heart, shall we? I mean, the bosses should be pretty easy. They die at one quarter HP, and that, that doesn't matter whether it's with bomb or tears. Don't like this situation. Okay. Um, so we might as well just go for it uh, and just kill him with bombs and try and kill him real quick. Oh, I'm so stupid. I didn't realize we we're on mum. <laughs> it's okay. We've, we've missed out on a shop, but that's it. But I did not realize we were on mum already. It's fine. And another devil deal. God damn it, game. Why do you do this to me? Eve's nail polish is pretty good, though. I guess I'll take it. I'm not particularly happy with it. My health isn't great, but we do have these morbid hearts to help us out. Little annoyed that I that I goofed there, because our shop could have been pretty valuable with, that, with the amount of money we have. And we're not on great HP right now, which is why I'm a bit apprehensive to take that devil deal. But at the same time, Eve's nail polish. While without triple shot or whatever, it's not insanely good, it is still good. And it does it is still gonna improve our tier rate overall. I don't think we need to worry too much, to be honest. I think Sigil of Baphomet's obviously gonna keep us going for the most part as well. little nubbin thing. Getting on my nerves. Yeah, sack room at this point is probably not very valuable unless we can get a lot and a lot of red hearts. These enemies are very annoying. Thank you for dropping some reflected bombs. Ooh, hello. 
So I guess that the, the, the play with this guy is you get an item and you can reroll it to what you want, but he could drop a troll bomb. Or he could just give you nothing. Wow, this is the most money I've ever put into one of these guys without getting anything. Holy shit, man. There you go. Uh, right. Um, tattered page, yeah. Rubber, baby. Okay. Um, that's good. 50% chance to spawn an item from the current rules pool. 50% chance to damage Isaac for two hearts. That's kind of gnarly. Um, okay, let's let's get to re-rolling this, because the HP is nice, but obviously we can get better than that. Reflux, no thank you. Eternal Rose is pretty good. But I think I'm going to roll deeper than that. I'm pretty happy with my choice. The chain, chain dude is, is not bad there. I think out of the items we saw, it's probably the best one. Yeah, worship's kind of interesting. Damaging us for two hearts seems scary. What have I done? What have I done? I trapped myself there. That was a good room to find. Yeah, the Cheney dude, it's, it's, they're not amazing depending on like, because like, it is RNG based on where they spawn. But if they spawn somewhere good, they can do some really, really nice damage. Really, really nice damage. Okay, boss straight away. Like, that, that's a good one there, look. One half dead. Easy peasy. And we got Toy Drum as well, which I'm pretty happy with. I'm going to hold on to this Worship card in case I get like a good opportunity to ut utilize it. But we'll see. Boss trap room there. We're not going to be able to enter unless there's a secret room right here. But I doubt it. Yeah, the good thing is as well, you can see it destroys rocks too. Which is quite nice. They're a bit annoying. Oh, glad I did that. Didn't expect a crawl space, but always a nice little bonus. Unfortunately, it's Brown Nugget, so <laughs> goodbye. I actually don't think Brown Nugget's that bad, but I actually genuinely think Friendly Ball might be better at this scenario. Careful of these guys throwing their spikes down. Not exactly sure what the little... Earth-face guys do that I sucked up in, into my ball there, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Red patch, no thank you. Yeah, is it going to actually do some good damage, or is it just going to kind of be part of our run for a while until it dies and do virtually nothing in the meantime? Ooh, that's nice. I wasn't expecting a half-soul heart there either. We're getting a lot of HP out of uh, places I wouldn't expect it to come from. A lot of kind of rough rooms here, but I, I think, honestly, Sigil of Baphomet is just saving our life. The, the, these rooms that have, like, a lot more enemies in them are actually better for Sigil of Baphomet normally. Like, obviously, normally, they, they, they would be a bit of a struggle, but with Sigil, it's like, oh, the more enemies, the more invincibility that we can keep up, because it stacks. It doesn't just reset the timer back to 0 0.5 seconds of invincibility. It, it stacks the 0 0.5 on top of each other. I don't know if it's 0 0.5. I don't exactly know how much time it gives you, but... Whatever it is, it stacks on top of each other. Grab our bombs. We're not really using our bombs enough to make it a problem. But we are getting enough back out of our bomb bag. Yeah, so our, our little Earthface guy is still chilling. He's still alive. Oh no, we lost Robo Baby. What are we ever going to do? Ooh, but speed is kind of nice. Our speed has been low for a while. Yeah, he's, he's just still chilling. He's alive. Friendly Ball, I, I, may, maybe I judged you too harshly. You're doing a decent job. Right, Mum's Heart. Okay, I'm not going to use any more bombs here. Unfortunately... Oh, wait. You died at quarter HP, of course. Hmm. It's kind of tricky. We've got some good stuff here. 
I popped worship. Uh, I popped worship and nothing happened. Weird. Tears and damage. This is kind of risky, but I think I'm going to take that. Yeah, I popped worship and literally nothing happened, so. Bit unsure about what happened there. It didn't do damage to me, it didn't give me an item. Which is a bit of a shame. One second. Okay, let's keep this rolling. Our health isn't amazing, but it's not awful either, so. We shall see how this goes. Not liking these Bernie boys being around, especially when they reform. That's a lot of holy light beams, my god. Sucking up this guy, this big face boy, was, was pretty good. Oh yes, I managed to get him. Having these holy light ones are good, because they'll always stay at the door, which means they're slightly more protected. Um, and they can just fire holy light beams on everyone. Ooh, I'm not a big fan of this. Luckily, my, my boys just deal with everything easily. Yeah, so they're just doing holy light beams. Chilling. Oh god, we've got a, a quite good little grouping of friends here. This is good shit. This is good shit. <laughs> the little, uh, the little chain thing doing some good damage. Our little bitey boy. The light beams. It's all good, man. It's all good. There's our sack room. Not that we'll be playing it, but there it is. I think our face boy died. Um, you are contraband. At this point, I think I'll take contraband. And I will play you. For some extra HP. Yeah, contraband? Why not? It could be it could be interesting. One second, guys. Right, keep it going. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna miss having friendly ball because we stuck with it for so long, but getting three extra items on the next floor seems fun. Fun and useful. We've got plenty of keys to work with. We've got golden bombs this floor as well, which is nice for Isaac. Should grab these two bombs here as well. Like, it should be this way, I think. We've got a wine glass boy. I, I holy light guy's gonna have a hard time dying, to be honest, because, like I said, he always sits at the door, which makes it harder for enemies to actually attack him. It's very nice. Don't you dare attack him. He's the bestest boy. And then as well, if we get that curse next floor that makes enemies into champions, it actually will affect him. Make him into a champion too. Look at him, just fucking firing good old beams on everyone. It's a shame the curse isn't golden as well, it'd be funny. Right. Pretty much just lobbing bombs. Don't know why I decided to walk into that hit there. That was pretty stupid. But we need to keep using bombs just for the ghosts. Obviously, they're also just doing a lot of damage, but... Don't know how I balls that up. But there you go, he died at a quarter HP. We're good to go. Contraband, what you got for me? <laughs> not great. <laughs> not great. I mean, Necronomicon's not awful, but the quarter's pretty bad. And we didn't really need the speed up, I guess. Lodestone's nice. Little Horn's cool with our ghosties. Cricket's head's pretty fucking amazing. Um, and some, some options can be good. Honestly, this is the sort of room we choose this in. Okay. 
We've got some good stuff here. I think this last floor is going to be pretty much a breeze. I like it. Unfortunately, we did lose our laser boy to Isaac, I'm guessing. I'm guessing one of the beams of light killed him. It was a shame. Hey, it's Haunt v Haunt. Ooh, accidentally found my secret room too. Don't mind if I do. Unfortunately, I do mind because I don't want to use any of those. What was that big gulp there? <laughs> a very, very big gulp. Okay, hoping to just beeline it straight for our boss here, but we'll see. That was a pretty weird room. I do like that on the chest, people just like make some really stupid and wacky rooms. Oh, that was a very good hit, good sir. Wasn't expecting that. We should, we still should be fine with the health that we're on. That was good. That was a, that was a good little, uh, good little plan you put in place there. If I had a bomb at you and you were like, nah, pal. This is pretty gross. There's a lot going on in this room. But you get tarot reading though, which is unfortunately absolutely useless. Ace of Hearts. Is Ace of Hearts the one that turns enemies into? Yeah, it is. Okay. Might be able to do something with Ace of Hearts and get a soul heart out of it. We'll see. Yep, there you go. I saw my opportunity and I took it. First room went into, looked great for it. I was maybe thinking I'm waiting for a room with a lot more stuff, but I was like, even just one soul heart will make up for the damage we've taken, so. Beeline it to that button, please. Where art thou, boss? Oh, all of them lobbing at once is pretty cool. Yeah, getting Cricket's head basically just sent this run to the stratosphere. It was already pretty good, but. There's another soul heart as well. Wasn't expecting that, but that champion apparently drops one. <laughs> Getting nuked, boy. Getting nuked. Unfortunately, this was not the right way. Oh my god. One second. One second. I'm gonna pause. God damn, sorry about that. I'm fucking girlfriend stressing me out. <laughs> she, she's like, what's the login to this? And I was like, I don't know what the login is. You made the account. And she's like, no, I just need the link. I'm like, ask for the link then. Don't ask for the login. It's not the same thing. Not the same thing at all. It's confusing things. <laughs> right, anyways, we're on to our boss. Oh, we got a spin down right at the end there. That's a shame. I'm liking that uh, Lodestone is dragging in all those wax shots. It's nice. We've got 17 bombs to work with here, so... Good thing is, bombs do cut through boss armor, so we'll be able to kill this guy a bit quicker because of that. Oh, Lodestone plus the bombs as well. I forgot that that's a synergy. You bastard. Oh, stop teleporting, mate. Stop it! Okay, he's dead anyways. Doesn't matter. Either way, there you go, people. Yet another win on the board. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'll see you guys in the next one.